Welcome, everyone. Courtside with two ex-NBA stars, Grant Hill and Brent Berry. I'm Brian Anderson. We've got Allie LaForce on the sidelines tonight as well. They kept the game close, but made a lot of mistakes. And we heard about it from the coaching staff afterwards. And, and they made some comments themselves that some of the fault might have lied with them because they didn't go in with the best of game plans and they didn't make the right adjustments. So we'll see tonight if they do. Here's Ball. The rebound by Allen. And here comes Cleveland. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Hornets team. Yeah, they beat this team in the season series last year. Well, what's that really saying? The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Now here's Rozier. You know, his stats have been solid, averaging around 18 and a half points a game. Inside. Here's Allen. That shot is off. Ooh, good D by Plumley. Outside Ubre. To the inside. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Boy, some coaches starting to feel the hot seat now, Grant. You think players are aware when that's the case? No question, B.A. I mean, with how the present media is, it's impossible not to notice. But some coaches will discuss it and be open and transparent about it. And, of course, some coaches won't ever bring it up. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Here's Garland. Supreme effort there. Plumlee able to get up into the shooter's face and alter that shot attempt. To the middle. In low. Oubre can't hit. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a Garland. shot that's in that close. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Here's Allen. Goes back up. He's got a piece of it. Big athletic guys like Plumley. Hard to get your shot over them before they can get their hands up. Ball. And they cash it in right away with a quick shot. Ball's got five points. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. Well, he's going to just man. keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Ball with it. He's picked up by Garland. Rozier outside. And here's Oubre from the arc. And again, Charlotte with the triple. Good touch there, Oubre outside the three-point arc and knocks one down. One thing you can give Terry Rozier credit for are those fast hands. You must keep the ball locked up when he's around because he's always hunting for his next steal. Back to ball. Up top, Rozier. There's the triple. The shot misses. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. And Rozier's quickness as a defender does much more than just create turnovers. Yeah, he's tough to shake off when he's covering you. I mean, he puts constant pressure on the shooters and doesn't allow them to take comfortable shots. Here's Ball. And he drives in. And yep, it's good. He's got seven. The Cavs trailing. The drive by Garland. And down it goes. Jam that one home. And D. Garland on the attack there. A nice job on the drive. To the paint. Here's Plumley. Slam dunk by Plumley. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist really the key to that entire sequence. The offensive rebound. Pass to Allen. Five on the clock. Another shot. Jay and it's Allen. good on the layup. The assist. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Down low. Here's Plumley. 
Oh, he misses the dunk. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Levert. Yes. And it's all tied up. Levert's gotten his second bucket. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Here's Ball. Out to Oubre. Pass to Rozier. Step back shot. With the tip. It's good on the putback. Plumlee's got six. That's what most want to see. That is what I'm talking about. Oh, wow. Just rising up to the rim. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. You know what I'm saying? That's the end of the first quarter. Some great action here early as we end the first quarter in a tie. Don't go away. Right. We'll be back with the second quarter. Coming to the court. Come on and get loud for your point Yeah, this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. And from what we've seen from the Hornets, what's your take so far? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. Pretty prime example here of how to space the floor and do it correctly. When you do it, it's the kind of thing that happens. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. And with the analytics movement, teams try to give objective ratings to player performance. But Brent, ranking defenders still seems imprecise. Yeah, it's tough with player tracking and some of the data out there. They're getting better and better at it. But I think we're a few years out, B.A., before it is we Love. see how it is that defensive players and player metrics can be defined to put guys into roles, into clusters, where they can start to show their defensive prowess. To the inside. Here's Washington. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. I just think that's trouble. You're gonna you're gonna let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. And Rondo, here we go. And Rondo's speed right there, a big help on that play. He uses it well to knife in there, get inside, pick up a foul. The first one falls. That one's no good. Yeah, they they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. KBA, the Cavaliers steadily rebuilding since LeBron's departure. Their win percentage has climbed season over season. Coach Bickerstaff said, quote, development takes time, patience, and understanding. But there's a clear vision of the process that we go through to become champions once again. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thank you. Here's Stevens. Here's Love. Oh, it's blocked by Washington. Pass to Martin. There's the three. Kept alive by Charlotte. And it's Washington missing. The Cavaliers leading. Here's Love. It's hauled in by Oubre. And it's the Hornets ball. Blocking foul called on. Kevin Love in his first few years, just a low post kind of grinded out back to the basket guy. And then all of a sudden became a phenomenal perimeter threat. Coming onto the court for your opponent. Rogier, right side. Pass to Washington. Uneasy, too, on the layup. Washington's got six points in the quarter. And with Kevin Love's development as a floor spacer, a great compliment to LeBron James during the Cavs' title run in 2016. It felt similar, B.A., to what Chris Bosh did in Miami with Dwayne Wade and LeBron James, where Kevin sacrificed a lot of his offense to fit in to be a complimentary start. Here's Washington. Pass to Oubre. The 11-footer. They get it back. Over to the wing. Six on the shot clock. Tries yet again. Fires from deep. Love grabs the miss. And so it's Cleveland with it. Stevens. He's off on that one. Pass to Martin. Out of bounds as Charlotte keeps possession. Just a little second late. So close to coming up with a steal there. Real close, and I'm sure next time he might time that a little bit better and get a hand on it. Rosier outside. 
Inside. Here's Washington. And Washington powers it through. Already five lead changes here. Speaks to how evenly matched these teams have been thus far. Pass to McDaniels. Here's Rozier. Right wing. Martin inside. And he throws it down with one hand. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Here's Love. Drains it. Now he's three for five. Stick to itiveness. You heard that? Kevin Love just showed you what it's all about. The Hornets with a lead. To the middle. Love with the defensive effort. And here comes Cleveland. Here's Okoro. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Good. Love. And the Cavaliers lead by one. Well, using some of that size and strength inside to gain advantage was Kevin Love that time. Martin inside. Out to Oubre. Back to Washington. Cavaliers foul. Jay Osmond. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. 29 seconds left to the second. To the wing on the left. Shot clock at five. Ball with it. Picked up by Allen. To the paint. Here's McDaniels. And they turn it over. Shot clock violation as the buzzer sounds. Sixteen seconds left in the second quarter. Garland with the ball. Deflected! Up in time! That shot missing. Kevin Love has been on display for Cleveland. Eight points in the quarter, showing how... And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. And here's Garland. You know, his impact on offense has been terrific. Scoring just around 20 Jeff points a game. Allen. And Allen assist gets it to go. And another Allen. great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Here's Ball. Here's Plumley. The kick out to Ball. To the middle. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Allen. Here's Plumley. Slam! Dunk by Plumley. Well, such a big body. Plumley does possess explosive verticality, and then, of course, a power finish. Charlotte trailing. Here's Ball, and a two-handed jam. Neither team has been able to assert its dominance over the other. Yeah, the struggle is real tonight. Seven lead changes and still in the third quarter. They keep capturing the lead, then giving it back. We'll see if they can hold on to it this time. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. The kick out to Ball. Back to Daniels. Pass to Plumley. Four on the clock. Here's Martin. Let's it fly. Offensive rebound. The kick out to Ball. McDaniels from long range. And here comes Cleveland. They lead by one. Garland with the ball. Allen on the wing. Plumley pulls down the board. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. 
Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Pass the ball to the inside. Here's McDaniels. Shoots over Mobley. Here's Martin. Here's Plumley. Slam! Dunk by Plumley. And that really has to lift his teammates' spirits right now. I'll tell you, Grant, these second-chance buckets could be what this game comes down to. Well, especially in a close game, every possession matters. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Colin Sexton's nickname in Alabama was the Young Bull. He said, quote, I just play with a lot of passion through adversity. No matter what the score is, I play a complete game. Every time I step on the court, I have to show the world what I can do. Oh, tremendous energy, Allie, right? Thanks for that. When you think about the draft profile of LaMelo Ball, Grant court vision has been as good as advertised. I mean, he's just a gifted passer who sees over defenders. He enjoys making those flashy plays. He's been everything you want from a playmaker. That's the love. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Love's got 10 points in the game. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. The Cavaliers leading. Assisted. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Their next game playing at home as the Grizzlies come to town. That'll be the second of a two-game stretch at home. Out to Bridges. And again, Charlotte with the triple. And it's amazing. Neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time. Yeah, these guys are leaving it all on the floor tonight. Hornets foul call. And that's a foul. Hold on, Montrez Harrell. That's his first foul. And the Hornets making a change here. 107 left in the third quarter. Pass to Love. Oh, great D that time from Harrell. Here's Charlotte now. It's a one-point game. And count it. The shot is good, and he'll go to the line. And what I love about Rogier is his fearlessness as a scorer. Inside, outside, in between, it doesn't matter. Here's Rondo. Blocked. And it's out of bounds for the Cavaliers as Cleveland retains possession. Inside. Here's Love. Over Harrell. He's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Thirty-two seconds left in the third. Here's Ubre. And he dumps it. What a pass to set him up. Ubre Jr., nice job reading the rotations and playing in that two-man game. Shot to stop the run. Money from the wing. Kevin Love. Love's got 12 points. That was a prayer. All luck getting that one to go. Pass to Rozier. Back to Ubre. Here he goes. Kevin. And it's flushed down. Ubre. A nice jam. Junior. Too good at getting to that opening. Ubre quick to the rack. Love. Denied by Harrell. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. Hornets out in front. Up six. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. The Hornets with the lead. Oubre on the wing. Down low. Pass to Martin. Back to Harold. Oh, it's stolen by Levert. And pushing it up. Here's Cleveland. Got a hand on it. I'll tell you what. They've been aggressive and they've been physical. Here's Martin. Out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland ball. Bad ball. Coming onto the floor for your Hornets. Here's Garland. 
Pass to Levert. The three ball. And it's Harrell with a rebound. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but if they give it to him again, I, I bet three points are coming. Now Allen. Harrell defending. Pulls it. Allen can't get it to go. You wonder if they could push this lead to double digits. Ooh, but the way they're playing, there's no reason to think they can't. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. Back to Rozier. Rejected by Allen. They get it back. Out to Bridges. Five to shoot. Second chance effort. Harrell. Doesn't go that time. So Cleveland will take it the other way. Levert goes in. Count it. More of showing his ability to find an open teammate. Isaac. And it's the Hornets ball. They've led by as many as 11. Pass to Rozier. Back to Oubre. Out to Bridges. No good with the triple. The Cavs trailing. And here's Levert. He's covered by Oubre. The shot by Levert. No good. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man. And he likes mixing it up with his impressive hurt. Ball no good. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up and you can't knock it down. Allen can't get it to go. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. And it's ball off the drive. And it's blocked. And so the ball out of bounds. Mobley touched it last. Coming onto the floor for your Hornets. Mason Plumley. On the wing, Rozier. Two minutes remaining. Over a Coro. Two minutes. Ooh, stolen by Allen. We've got a minute 48 left in the fourth quarter. Lays it up and banks it in. Allen. Allen's got four points now in the quarter. With a soft touch around the basket, when Allen gets good looks inside, he's able to capitalize. And Rozier, here we go. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. first personal foul. Yeah, a strong move to the rack draws that foul. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Hornets. Oh, their defense has been outstanding. Closing out on shots and blocking quite a few as well. I also love the fact that they played with speed tonight. They haven't sputtered one bit. Constantly getting out on the break and creating opportunities in transition. Oubre on the wing. Ball left side. Right at the free throw line. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. That might not be the shot they want him taking. Oh, oh, oh hey, how about that? That's impressive. Isaac. He's a living oh. highlight reel. Seriously, that could end up being one of the best dunks of the year. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. First free throw is good. And that increases the lead to six. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. That's how you protect the lead. Build it out with clutch free throws. Pass to Allen. Ball with a steal. Screen by Bridges. Inside. Deep corner, Rozier. Hits the trifecta. And the Hornets lead by ten.
You can feel the excitement in this arena. These guys have done one heck of a job. A huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran...